is A5 now, and your first workout are going to be the chest press with dumbbells. So here we go. Weight back. Oh, should have did it better. Okay. Lean on your chest up again, 90 degrees. Abs in tight. Stop where it's 90 degrees. And your chest is, stays up. And your weight should reach to the middle of your chest. After you're done with those, we have the planks. So again, this is where you tuck in your abs and your glutes at the same time. It may look funny, but it's going to work. Three sets of 30. So here's the beginning. You tuck in. And you hold that for 30 seconds. You should definitely feel it in your abs and your glutes. And then after that, we have bicycle crunches. Good babe. You're going to love these. <laughs> I hate these, but I love them. Okay. So. Elbow touches the knee, and the foot does not touch the floor, right above it. Two sets of 50, so 25 each side on each set. After you're done with those, we're going to go to modified push-ups. All right. Hands beneath your shoulders. Knees bent. You can cross them, or have them stay like this. And you're going to go down with your arms. Inhale when you go down. Exhale when you go up. So those are the modified push-ups. And then we have alternating ab twists with the dumbbells. So you're going to use a set of threes. Elbow up the center. Okay. Come right here. And let your legs up off the floor. Is that that baby? Okay. And then with the weights, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten, two, three, sixteen. And we have what is it? We have you doing fifty each side. I mean fifty into two sets. So once you do twenty five each side, fifty all together, that's one set. And when you're done, you do another set. And then we have reverse crunches, which are these. Put your hands kind of on under, but on the side of your butt. So hold it in place. And you put your feet up and you lift your hips off the floor. So again, if, it, if this is where you can do it, that's perfect point is to get the hips off the ground. And then, last but not least, our standing side crunches. So you're going to help your obliques and also get your hip flexors stronger. So go one, two, three, four. You can rest your hand right here or right here. Inhale up. Exhale down. When you're done with that side, switch over. And after that, you're done. That's it.